Okay, you should now have something about like this. We added a side view. We have hidden lines and center lines. We have all of the dimensions we need to recreate the part. And I've also added an annotation for the keyway so someone could come back in and look at this and know that it was a 0.36 by 0.2 inch keyway. And that's the uh, part that drives the gear. We're now gonna go back into our layout one and we're gonna make a new viewport in here by clicking on view, viewport, new viewport and we want a standard single viewport uh, make sure your object snap is off we're going to draw a box that's inside of our title block area but this just makes it exactly to the size of the box and we went a little more precise than that so let's left click on the outside box of the viewport click on properties and if you notice your standard scale is set to custom and the custom scale is something like 0.6 or 0.5 it's it's not a very nice number it goes out a few decimal places uh, we actually want this to be six inches is equal to one foot it's the same as uh, half scale so we're going to switch it over to that and click the X to exit out of our dialog box there. And now we're going to go and hide the viewport borders. So if we go back to our home tab, we have these different things here. And viewport is something new. If we turn the layer off, it should hide the borders of that. And, uh, now we just need to adjust the dimension scale. To do that, we're going to move our cursor to the dimension toolbar. And now let's just go to format. Well, now let's pull up our dimension toolbar. So I actually hid mine so you can see things better but it's under toolbars, AutoCAD, dimension. We'll just go right up here to modify. And if you go to your fit tab, instead of using an overall scale of one, we're gonna scale the dimensions to the new layout that we have created. So select scale dimensions to layout. And also let's go over to primary units. Uh, we'll change the precision to two points after the decimal. We'll suppress leading zeros. And let's go ahead and click on OK and close. So that'll make our dimensions look much nicer. They'll be sized to where you can see it on this paper, and we're not modifying any of the dimensions. It should be exactly like what it should be. On the dimension toolbar, we can update dimensions. Let's just go ahead and click on, oh, I don't know. Let's pick a radius dimension here. It's not liking me clicking that. Huh. It does not seem to think that is selectable. Well, it's thought it should be able to see it. Uh, we'll explore this more in another tutorial.